Life after World War II, their stories we don't often hear as families were forced to pick up the pieces in post-war Europe. As CBS 2's Marissa Perlman shows us, the Illinois Holocaust Museum is now telling those stories through the eyes of the post-war photographer. This just shows us how we have to learn from history. The photos are of everyday people, a group of kids in Greece reading letters from home. You wouldn't know they're in the middle of a civil war. The intensity of emotion from a child that young. On Omaha Beach in Normandy, kids are playing in the shadow of wreckage from military equipment from D-Day. This is what normal life was like and what post-war Europe would be built on. We as a society talk about World War II in terms of the scale and the battles and the atrocities. And we sometimes forget to talk about the people. Amanda Friedman with the Illinois Holocaust Museum takes us through their new exhibit, Shim, Between Devastation and Resurrection. The photographer behind these haunting images are from a man named Shim, also known as David Seymour. He was a Polish Jew who was forced to flee his home, his family killed in the Holocaust, later sent by UNICEF to document the destruction of Europe. Shim is showing us major political world events but he is showing us through the effect of those events on people. And the stories of those people, a hidden piece of history, now on display here in Chicago. We see these examples of what people are capable of and what we as people living in the world today have the potential to do to create change. Reporting in Skokie, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.